let's talk about the four ways to import something from a module in Python. So the first way is to just use the import statement, import a module name. So we can now say math.square root to use the square root function or math.py because we've imported the math module. We can't say pi or square root though. And the reason is when you use this syntax, you get one thing. You get a variable name that points to the module object and everything in that module hangs off of that module object as an attribute. So we have to say math.square root, math.py. If you didn't want to have to type math.py, you wanted to just type pi, you could use the from syntax, from math import pi. So we get pi now, but we don't have square root and we don't have the whole math module. If you want multiple things from module using this syntax, you can put commas between them to pluck out pi and square root from this module, but not take anything else from the math module. If you were using this from syntax to grab specific things from a module and you grab something of the same name from two different modules, you've got a problem. So here we're importing square root from the math module and square root from the C math module. The C math module is working for working with complex numbers in Python. And we end up getting square root just from the C math module because we've overridden our square root variable name. So to fix this, we could rename square root from the CMath module as we import it by using this as syntax from CMath import square root as C square root. So square root is now the one from the math module. C square root is from the CMath module. C square root is actually a function called square root in the CMath module. So we've just pointed our local variable C square root to the square root function within that CMath module. You can also use this as syntax for a whole module. So you can import math as m, which means we can't say math.py anymore. We would say m.py or m.square root. You'll usually see this convention used in areas of the Python world where it's common to use it. You don't see it used very often outside of very specific places. So for example, in the pandas world, people often import pandas as pd. In the numpy world, people often import numpy as np. It's not very common to see to shorten a module name using this syntax, except for in those areas where people know what you're doing, where it's, it's already very common. If I see m.py in your code, it's a little bit weird. I would probably squint at that. So there's four different ways to import are import the whole module using its original name, import specific things from the module, or import the whole module and rename it, usually using a shorter variable name, or import specific things from the module and rename them as you're importing them, which you usually do to avoid a name collision. Sometimes you'll do it to make a more descriptive name. That's not very common. I personally tend to use the from syntax the most, and the reason is I like short, and descriptive variable names. And this usually ends up with short and descriptive variable names. If there's a name like choice that really doesn't make it clear that we're specifically talking about a random choice, I might import the whole module though. I'll import random and say random.choice. So usually I'll use the from syntax. Sometimes I'll use the import syntax if it makes my name a little bit more descriptive. Uh, I'll very, very rarely use the as syntax unless I'm in a world like pandas or numpy where it's a common convention. And I almost never use the as syntax with from unless I'm avoiding a name collision. So those are the four ways to import something from a module in Python.